and welcome back to Scream With Me. My name is Rusty and this is my horror channel where I talk about my favorite horror movies and my favorite music when I'll ever get around to doing that part. I don't know. We're continuing the uh, Child's Play franchise with my worst of the bunch. I just finished my second of the bunch, second worst of the franchise. And uh, now we're going to move on to the worst of the franchise. And that is Seed of Chucky. Now, once again, I do not have the video to show you because I didn't buy it. And I'm not going to buy it because I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> because I completely and totally hate it. And at 2 o'clock in the morning, it's getting chilly, so I am putting socks on it. Yeah? But, um, so, I just watched these two yesterday to get prepared to do these um, again. So, this is only the second time that I saw these two because I hate them so much. Um, so, forgive me if I lose track, but, um, okay, so it's six years later, and, um, we are introduced to the doll's doll, the doll's kid. His name is Glenn. Now, Glenn is supposed to be benevolent. He's supposed to be not evil. He's, um... A nice little doll and he is being you know horribly mistreated and abused by this ventriloquist who is humiliating and bothering him and all of this kind of stuff when one night um, he's watching TV you know like dolls do and he sees a commercial for Chucky Go Psycho or something like that Chucky Go Psycho I think um, which is a horror movie uh, by the Kincaids from the last movie and their experiences with them, with Chucky and Tiffany. He has an epiphany and realizes that that's his parents. And, you know, like a lonely doll would, he, a lonely orphan doll would, he wants to know who his parents are. So he goes hunting for them, and uh, so he escapes and manages to get to um, Hollywood where he finds his parents who have been rebuilt by the puppeteer from uh, the actual original dogs from the last movie. So he then ends up um, using the amulet that he had, the voodoo amulet, to resurrect his dad and mom, his mom and dad, and Chucky isn't exactly happy, but Tiffany is. Tiffany is all thrilled to have her child, and there's the happy family reunion and stuff like that until a pup the puppeteer starts trying to take Tiffany apart, at which point they kill him. Now this upsets Glenn who is a good boy and um, starts complaining to his parents that you know what they're doing is wrong and that it's not a nice thing and why do they do that to which Chucky tells him that it relaxes him to kill people but Tiffany puts in to start um, you know we don't need to be doing that we should you know be better people for our son and, um, yeah, <laughs> so she makes Chucky promise not to kill anyone, and that's all fine and good. The, then we, you know, we, of course, have the actress, Jennifer. Jennifer is wanting a role in a movie, and she invites the director home uh, to her house. Now, Chucky and Tiffany come up with the idea that this is who they're going to, you know, possess to be human again. So, while the couple starts 
making out or having sex, the Tiffany knocks them out, where she inseminates with a turkey baster Jennifer with Chucky semen. Where we have the infamous masturbation doll scene. Yeah. So um so Jennifer wakes up pregnant but he says that there's no way he could be the father because he had had a vasectomy so she's left all confused and everybody's upset and it's all over the place now um, when she does wake up the next time she is like ready to give birth I mean you know she's like fully there and um Chucky uh, sort of, res you know, resigns himself here soon. Resigns himself to the position that he's in. And uh, with, with, you know, uh, Tiffany. But Tiffany, Tiffany isn't nearly as nice as you think. Because despite Chucky, Tiffany still wants to be human. And wants to put herself in Jennifer's body. But Jennifer, but Chucky keeps trying to interfere, ends up stabbing Tiffany, um, and killing Tiffany. Because Tiffany continues to uh, attempt to get this ritual to work. Um, oh, they went to the uh, photographer's house. Him and the kid, you know, Chucky and Glenn went on the car trip to where they wrecked Britney, cars, uh, Britney Spears' car and killed her and went to this photographer's house and saw the pictures where the photographer had pictures of the insemination and um, stuff like that where Glenn accidentally uh, knocks the photographer down into a thing where sulfuric acid kills him. And Chucky thinks that, that Glenn did this on purpose and is actually very proud of Glenn and wants him, you know, took, takes a picture and all kind of stuff. So he's really thrilled about it. Um, but Glenn assures him that it was not intentional. Um, where we are then soon introduced back to the main storyline to Glenda. See, it seems that Glenn has an evil twin sister that lives inside of him. And that comes out in an attack um, that Chucky knows about. So when Chucky does kill Tiffany, who continues to try to perform the ritual to get back in, to get into Jennifer's body, um, this enrages Glenn. And him and, and he challenges Glenn, uh, Chucky to a father-son death match, which he actually wins because he's so enraged. He actually wins and impales Chucky, who then has to, because um, right before Tiffany died during that fight, right before Tiffany died, Tiffany had given him the axe that. Um, which he impels Chucky with. So, Chucky though, I'm trying to keep all this straight, Chucky thinks that um, Glenda did it. But then Glenn assures him that it wasn't Glenda, it was him. But he then has an emotional psychotic break uh, because of what he did. Now, Jennifer in the meantime has had a set of twins, a boy and a girl. <laughs> I was going to try to be serious while I did this but um, so after Chucky's de demise we flash forward for five years 
uh, at a birthday party for Glenn and Glenda. Wasn't that a wasn't that an Ed Wood movie from the 50s or something or 60s or something? Glenda, Glenda. Yeah. So I guess that was some kind of hat tip or something. I don't know. But um, so we fast forward and there is at a birthday party for the the two kids and um, the nanny wants to quit because Glenda the, the girl scares her now um, Jennifer allows that the, you know for her to quit but then beats her to death with the Tiffany doll where we see her eyes go green and we are let you know it is you know we are allowed to know or we are it is revealed that Tiffany was not killed that the act that you know when Chucky did that that actually Tiffany did complete the ritual and she has been in Jennifer's body the whole time these five years now there's one more present and that is for Glenn who when he opens it it is Chucky's arm that reaches up and starts strangling him and that's where the fade to black and the movie is over thank God now like I said before I'm glad that movies you know have their fans I'm glad that we're not all alike I'm glad that you know you can trash movies I like. I can trash movies that you like. It's still, it's all a matter of taste. I don't like asparagus either. Um, and you might love it. So, it's, a, it's cool. It's alright. I hate these two movies. I hate Seed of Chucky. It is the bottom of the list. I like the remake a hell of a lot better than either one of these. Actually, the, I like the remake better than Cult of Chucky as well. But Cult of Chucky sits way above Bride, and, that, and it's because of what I told you. I am not a fan of parodies. I don't like parodies. It's sort of like, it's just not my kind of comedy. <coughs> it's like jazz. I hate jazz. I hate, you know, metalhead and all that kind of stuff. But um, if you take jazz, for instance, you have contemporary jazz and easily easy listening jazz like in the dinner theaters but you also have swing like in Victor Victoria and swing kids I love swing jazz hard fast aggressive jazz swing ragdoll ragtime stuff like that they're both forms of jazz but they are completely different it's the same thing with me in comedy I I like comedy. It's not my favorite genre, uh, but I actually have a good sense of humor. I like comedy, but I hate parodies. Parodies of music, parodies of movies. I don't think they're funny. I don't find them amusing. I don't like them. They're just not my thing. And that's okay. We can all, you know, we can all have that. I'm sure that there are people out there. I'm sure every one of you can name a show or a movie or something that you love that a lot of people hate and vice versa stuff that a lot of people love but you just really hate you don't see anything in it that's me with parodies um, I know I saw someone talking about Sharknado on another channel um, I think it was Horrorhead Heather was talking about how she loves Sharknado she has Sharknado parties um, that is great. That is so much fun that you can find something in that. I would rather watch cats screw in tinfoil bags all night long than listen to or watch a Sharknado movie. And it's because I don't like parody. I don't like, wow, that's so stupid, it's funny. I've just never been the kind of person that... that wow that's so stupid it's funny that's just not my thing I don't like scary movie I don't like um, Sharknado I don't like that kind of stuff 
Now I can get into it's so bad it's good, but that's that's a different thing than that's so stupid it's funny. No, uh, Seed of Chucky is stupid. I mean stupid. Bride of Chucky uh, starts off with a good idea and then turns into a parody and I can't stand it. I don't like either one of those movies and I'm very glad to be past them. And I hope never to see them again. But I did that for you. <laughs> I knew, um, I was like, God, I hate those two movies. But I, I always like to rewatch a movie right before I do uh, my thoughts on it. And uh, that's what I did. And I, um, yep. I hated them just as much as I did the first time I ever saw them. And I don't really want to ever see them again um, and that's that so thank you for tuning in please tell me what you think about seed do you like it where does it fit on your list how do you feel about parodies uh, you know and you know if you saw my collection I'm sure you can find lots of stuff you hated in my collection so it's okay it's all right you'll be okay it's okay I promise it's okay, you will not be harmed in any way by me hating these two movies. So, you know, I went out of my way to find a Halloween 6 shirt, and a lot of people don't like Halloween 6. I think it's, it's my favorite sequel after the first two. Um, I love Halloween 6. Producer's cut. But... I like both of them actually. I like the theatrical cut, but the theatrical cut doesn't make no sense. It doesn't make as much sense as the producer's cut did. So I like some things about the theatrical cut and some things about the producer's cut, but in the end, I love this movie. I'm very glad to have found this t-shirt. But um, I also found a My Bloody Valentine t-shirt I got my eye on, because that's rare. I've never seen a uh, My Bloody Valentine t-shirt. but. Um, from the original movie not the new remake but uh, I want to get that too but thank you very much for tuning in I will see you in the next one which should be Curse I think Curse of Chucky whichever one's next and I'm very glad to do that because it means they get to watch them again and I actually like both of them and I actually like the remake so uh, I'm going to have fun with Chucky for the next three movies so that's good uh, love you, miss you, bye. Keep screaming. Do it once a day. It'll help you. I promise. Just scream. Love you, miss you, bye.